Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you what I buy on a typical grocery shop. Um, I don't want to say grocery, it's very American. Anyway, so a food shop, this is what I buy. I go to Aldi more often than not because um, it's pretty good value. Um, there's one near my house. Um, if I need anything like special, I'll go to Tesco's. Um, this is pretty much what I buy for a typical week. This should feed me for about five days, not including the weekend. Other thing to note is that um, I get like two to three meals a day at the club on training days. So we train Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and then I get one meal on Friday. Um, so Wednesday's a full day where I don't get fed. Um, and then mainly this is for snacks and evening meals. Um, so yeah, let's hop into it. Firstly, I'll start with the meat. Um, I buy chicken thigh fillets, which as you can see, I've already started eating. Basically, they're slightly less lean than chicken, than chicken breast, but they're basically a lot nicer. They've got more calories, which for someone like me who typically needs to put on weight, um, is a great swap. Um, I've got a steak, um, a sirloin steak, yeah, pretty much what it says on the tin. Um, I like sirloin steak, as opposed to other steaks. If you were trying to reduce the amount of calories you'd eat, maybe you'd go for a fillet, but it's more expensive and tastes worse, so maybe not. I've got some mint, so I just make um, a big bolognese, and that'll make two bolognese, so that's two meals for me, so I'll save one of those, or I'll make it into something slightly different. For breakfasty kind of things, or like for snacks, I've got bacon medallions. Um, these are a really good swap out for, for anyone who's looking to reduce the amount of calories or fat they have, they still taste like bacon. Um, the way lean and they're super high in protein, which I think is really good. So, um, last bits of meat, I've got some ham for snacks. Um, I've got bacon lardons slash pancetta, and I've got some chorizo. These are basically for, I can chuck these into a lot of meals to up my calories. Um, anything that's like chicken related or like put into a bolognese, kind of just spice it up a little bit um, and make it more interesting and slightly higher calorie. So, the other things I tend to buy, I don't tend to meal plan and prep, so, I'll just buy loads of microwave rices because um, I don't like cooking normal rice for some reason. So I'll buy like four of them. They're super, like from Aldi, they're super cheap. They're like 40p. Um, and you can just chuck them in with anything. I've got some smoothie mix for some smoothies. Um, really easy, um, less hassle. Um, I've got protein as well, so I can chuck it in there to a quick protein smoothie. Um, I've got some veg. I've got watercress, spinach, and rocket. I've heard watercress is the best vegetable. I don't know what that means, but I've heard it is. Um, and I actually, it's probably one of the few like salad-y kind of things I actually like. Um, so I make that salads, have it with like, things like the poke bowls that I've shown before. Um, Tend to say broccoli, another one of the few vegetables that I like eating, so um, that's in there. Um, red onions. Red onions, as my mum taught me, are amazing. They taste really nice and actually got loads of good vitamins and stuff in them. Um, and they also go with everything, so I, I put them in quite a lot of things. Um, I've just got some uh, like carrots as well. They're made for the bolognese, but have them anytime I want as well. Uh, potatoes, just normal potatoes. There isn't a massive difference. These are higher GI typically. They're still not high GI. They're still low GI. Um, the sweet potatoes have got different uh, different nutrients in them, um, and they're slightly lower GI, but they're not worse or better than other potatoes. So yeah, I've got some tomato puree for sauces and for bolognese. Um, I've got these cool bars that I found. They're like protein bars. Basically, most protein bars are this. They're made of dates. I like soya crispies, soya protein crispies, but they're nice. Um, and they're from Ali, they're really cheap, which is cool. Uh, bagels, right, so I don't buy bread, I buy bagels. Um, so I've got one of the normal kinds, and then raisin and cinnamon one. Um, bagels for me are just like, they just taste way better, and they're way more interesting, and they go with more things. They're also quite high calorie, so a typical bagel would be like 250 calories, with 10 to 12, 12 grams of protein in it, um, which just suits my diet. like. A lot of things I talk about is suiting your diet. Um, and this is one of the things that I need to eat a lot of calories and bagels are great for snacks or having a breakfast. They just up calories massively. However, if you're trying to lose weight or you're on lower calories, bagels are something that aren't ideal to fit your calories. Um, I got some, some protein granola. I'm not one for buying stuff just because protein on it, but um, I buy granola to put in, in yogurt um, as a snack, um, to put in um, smoothies as well. So. I don't put granola in smoothies, that's not what I was talking about. Often I buy like a nutty granola that's just really high in calories um, and fats typically. Yogurts, which is what I was talking about. Um, skier yogurt's really good. Um, any type of low fat yogurt works well um, for anyone. This stuff's really nice. I often buy the little Arla protein yogurts that um, you see in most supermarkets. Um, they're good. Um, anything else that I haven't mentioned? I think that's it. Oh yeah, that's really good for pancakes. I'm not doing it because it looks healthy.